Hi, this follows along from my tutorial on using chroma key with a green screen, so you should watch it first. This time we're going to look at how to protect a green area of a subject filmed against a green screen that will make a transparent hole in the subject when the chroma key green effect is applied. I've prepared this image to really exaggerate this effect. The rectangular image, similar to a cell phone, has a green star in it, and I have a green background. The green star in the cell phone has the same or close to the same green as the green screen background. The goal is to make the background transparent but not the green star within the cell phone. Now there are a couple of ways to do this and here's one of them. I've placed a background image on track 1 and my green screen image on track 4. I'll select this image, go to effects, video effects, chroma key and click on the green button. The green disappears from around the subject and also within the subject. Well, that's not what I want. I need a way to protect this green star from the chroma key green effect. To do this, I'll import a black and white mask or create one using Zara or another application and place it on track 2. I'll also duplicate my green screen image using control and drag with the left mouse button and drag it onto track 3 perfectly aligned with the original. I'll select this copy and remove the chroma key green effect. To see the rectangle, I'll mute track 4 and give track 3 some transparency by dragging down the middle handle. The white part of the mask will protect whatever is on the track above it, and by above I mean a higher numbered track, in this case track 3. The black part makes whatever is in that area of track 3 transparent. It doesn't affect track 4. We see the white square in the middle of the screen, but it's offset from the star and not as big as the star. The trick here is to use this white part of the mask to block the green within the cell phone on track 3 so that we can see it. I need to position the white part to cover the green part of the cell phone. Of course, a mask having the same shape as the part to be protected would be required in some cases, but here I can simply use a square that covers the star and a bit more. I'll select the mask and go to size position. We see the dashed line and the center point of the mask and I'll drag it a bit to the left. Hmm, but it isn't quite big enough to cover the star. I'll adjust the zoom up to about 112 and move the mask a bit to get it properly centered. Now we can see the entire star is covered and we haven't gone outside of the limits of the cell phone with a white rectangle. Now I'll give the mask the chroma key alpha effect. Now we can see the background, the green star and part of the cell phone. I'll remove the transparency from the object on track 3 and finally I'll unmute track 4. Now we see the entire cell phone with the green star. Of course, if you have someone moving against a green screen, you'll need to keyframe the mask to follow the area that you want to protect. I hope that this has helped you understand more about some tricks when using a green screen and protecting part of an image from the green screen chroma key effect. Thank you for watching. Till next time, enjoy.